Horrid Henry's Mother's Day. What are you doing for Mother's Day? asked Perfect Peter. Horrid Henry ignored him and continued to read his Screaming Demon comic. I'm getting Mum flowers and chocolates and making her breakfast in bed, said Peter. Horrid Henry scowled and slumped lower on the sofa. What presents are you getting her, Henry? asked Peter. None! bellowed Horrid Henry. Now shut up and go away! Dad! wailed Peter. Henry told me to shut up! Don't be horrid, Henry, said Dad, or no TV tonight. But horrid Henry didn't care. Mother's Day. Oh, no, not again. Horrid Henry hated Mother's Day. Last year, Peter gave Mum a giant hand-painted card covered in sparkles and glitter, which had taken him weeks to make. Last year... Henry also made Mum a card. OK, so he'd folded over a piece of paper and scrawled Happy Mother's Day on it. Was it his fault that the paper he'd picked up off the floor had an advert on the other side for a new kebab shop opening down the road? He'd been busy. He'd made her a card, hadn't he? Wasn't it the thought that counted? But no, Mum was never satisfied. Then Peter bought her a massive bouquet of red roses. So Henry picked some tulips from the garden and got told off. It was so unfair. <laughs> ah! Why didn't they ever celebrate Children's Day? That's what he wanted to know. Then Mum and Dad could serve him breakfast in bed and buy him presents and make him cards. In fact, when Henry became king, he'd make it the law that every day was Children's Day and Mother's Day and Father's Day would be banned. Any parent trying to force their child to celebrate this horrible day would be buried headfirst in quicksand. Naturally, worried Henry hadn't bought Mum a present. He'd been so busy watching TV and reading comics and playing on the computer and dragging his weary bones to school and back again, that there just hadn't been any time. And Mum and Dad were so mean and horrid and gave him the puniest amount of pocket money ever in the history of the universe, so how could he be expected to buy a present out of the few measly pence he had rattling around his skeleton bank? He couldn't. And that was that. If Mum and Dad wanted presents from him, they should give him more cash. Maybe Mum would forget about Mother's Day, thought Horrid Henry, hopefully. She was getting old, after all. And didn't old people forget stuff? Well, boys, said Mum, I'm really looking forward to Mother's Day tomorrow. I can't wait to be pampered like a queen. You will be, Mum, said Perfect Peter. I promise. Rats. Rats, 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 rats. If only Peter weren't such a goody, goody, wormy, worm, toady, toad. <laughs> Once again, Peter would put Henry to shame with his gifts and his cards and running to put a cushion on Mum's chair and making her breakfast in bed and... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who said Peter had to outdo him this year? What if he, Henry, made Peter look horrid for once? What if, instead of ignoring Mother's Day, Henry made tomorrow a Mother's Day Mum would never forget? What if he got Mum a fantastic card and made her the best breakfast in bed ever? In fact... If he bought a card, it would be much better than any homemade monstrosity Peter had painted. And if he got up super early, he could have Mum's breakfast already while Peter was still snoozing. Ah! 
That would be the best trick ever. Henry couldn't wait to see Peter's shocked face when Peter brought up Mum's breakfast tray to find her already tucking into Henry's yummalicious treats. I've got a big surprise planned for you, said Perfect Peter. How exciting, said Mum, beaming. After all, you are the best mum in the world, said Peter. Thank you, Peter, said Mum. Anything Peter could say, Henry could say better. Actually, said Henry, I think you're the best mum in the universe. Mum smiled. Why, thank you, Henry, she said. You're the best mum who's ever lived, said Peter. You're the best mum who's ever lived and will ever live, said Henry. Peter opened his mouth and then closed it. He couldn't think of anything to say to top that. Just wait till you see all the presents I've got you, mum, said Peter. How many do you have, Henry? None of your business, broom, said Henry. He glanced at the clock. Yikes! He only had 15 minutes before the corner shop closed. Never mind. It was sure to be filled with fabulous Mother's Day cards and gifts. Be right back, shouted Horrid Henry. Henry stood in front of the Mother's Day card display. The shelf was empty. There wasn't a single Mother's Day card left. How could there be no more cards? His brilliant plan was ruined before he'd even started. He had to find a card. If it just said, best wishes, then he could write, happy Mother's Day on the inside. Yikes, every card in this stupid shop costs so much. Who knew cards were so expensive? Wait. There was a plastic box in the corner filled with cards. Any card, 50 pence, read the sign. It was his lucky day. Henry ran over and riffled through them. Sorry about your hernia. Sorry you're leaving. Happy 90th birthday. That'll do, thought horrid Henry, grabbing the card. He'd cross out the 90th and birth and write in mothers instead. She'll never notice, thought horrid Henry. Now, some presents. What would Mum like? Horrid Henry wandered up the aisles. Horrid Henry wandered down the aisles. He had three minutes left before closing time to find the best Mother's Day gifts ever. What about a new toilet brush? This pearly white one came with a selection of cleaning supplies. And matching toilet roll holder. What a fantastic present. Mum would be sure to love it. On the other hand, it cost £4.99. £4.99? Highway robbery. He'd already spent 50p. And he had comics to buy. Wasn't made of money. What about a DVD? Beat your blubber. Rats, even that was £1.99. If he bought it, he'd have no money left for sweets this month. Besides, Mum didn't have much blubber to beat. Maybe growing old gracefully would be better. Aha! How about that book for 25p? Hello, dentures. The price was right, thought Horrid Henry, grabbing it. And he'd have cash left over for chocolate for him. Hang on. What was Mum saying she needed just the other day? A new mop. Yes! She'd been moaning and moaning that the old one was falling apart. She'd love a new mop. Actually, they were expensive. Rats! Why did everything cost so much? Wait! He was a genius! He'd just cut a rag into strips and then use a rubber band to attach them to the old mop handle. Voila! A brand new mop. What mother wouldn't love such a great gift? 
What a lucky mum she was, thought Horrid Henry, as he strolled home with his book and card. Now, all he had to do was to dream up a few more fantastic gifts tonight, and Mother's Day was sorted. Peter was toast. Horrid Henry sat in his bedroom. He'd made the mop. What else could he give Mum? Why not make her some coupons? Genius! Another great gift for Mother's Day? And even better, it wouldn't cost him a penny. Horrid Henry got out some paper and crayons and wrote, This Mother's Day coupon is good for... What did Mums like doing best of all? Cleaning up after their children. After all, Mum was lucky to have him for her child. She could have got someone really awful, like Weepy William or Stuck Up Steve. In fact, anyone else, really. Henry shuddered. Mum didn't know how lucky she was having Henry for her son. Hurried Henry filled in the coupon. This Mother's Day coupon is good for... Cleaning Henry's room. That was sure to make her happy. In fact, why not be generous and give her a pack of ten? There was a knock on his door. All ready for Mother's Day? asked Peter. Of course, said Henry, smoothly. I've got Mum loads of presents and I'm making her breakfast in bed. Perfect Peter stood still. That's my surprise, said Peter. I'm making her breakfast in bed. Horrid Henry smiled. Tough, he said. Peter glared at Henry. Henry glared at Peter. Ha, huh? thought Horrid Henry. He'd get up super early to make sure he got Mum's breakfast ready first. He'd do soft-boiled eggs, toast, jam, juice, tea, the works. Tea, Peter, thought Horrid Henry. If you snooze, you lose. <laughs> clink, clink, clunk. Clunk. Horrid Henry opened one eye. It was still dark outside. Who could be moving about the kitchen, making so much noise so early? Then Horrid Henry sat up. Peter, that little rotten toad. He got up early to beat Henry. Well, not so fast. Henry bolted out of bed and dashed into the kitchen. There was Peter, bustling around, getting out napkins and cutlery on a tray decorated with a red rose. What you doing, worm? Making Mum her Mother's Day breakfast in bed, said Peter, placing two pieces of toast in the toaster. <gasps> Glad some well is, said Henry, yawning. Peter paused. Aren't you making her breakfast, Henry? asked Peter. Nah, said Henry, you go ahead. Then Henry cocked his head and went to the door. Peter, Dad's calling you. I didn't hear anything, said Peter. OK, I'll go, said Henry. You said it was about Mother's Day. Peter shot out of the kitchen and dashed upstairs. Henry nipped to the toaster. Zip! Peter's toast was out and in the bin. Boop! Horrid Henry put in four pieces of toast then stood guard. Perfect Peter dashed back into the kitchen. Dad didn't call me, said Peter. He was asleep. Yeah, he did, said Henry. No, he... Here's the toast I was making, Mum, said Peter. Henry ignored him. Where's Mum's toast, said Peter. What toast, said Henry. You took my toast out of the toaster. Didn't, did, didn't. Liar, liar. Slap, slap. Mum! Screamed Henry and Peter. Henry slapped me, 
yelled Peter. Peter, slap me first, yelled Henry. Didn't did! Liar! Liar! Dad stumbled in just as Henry pulled Peter's hair. Peter started screaming. Henry, leave your brother alone, he shouted. It's Mother's Day. I'm making her breakfast in bed and then Peter came in and tried to steal my toast, said Henry. Peter gasped. I was making her toast first, he wailed. Henry's lying. Dad sighed. Why don't you both make her breakfast in bed, he said, yawning and stumbling back upstairs. Henry looked at Peter. Peter looked at Henry. Sure, Dad, said horrid Henry. Henry raced to the toaster, yanked out the toast and threw it on a red tray. No time for a plate or butter. Now for the eggs. Peter snatched the jam and put it on his tray, then poured some juice and got out the cereal. Oh no, Peter was getting ahead of him. He'd be first upstairs with his breakfast and all Henry's hard work would be for nothing. Henry dashed to the fridge, snatched two eggs and flung them into egg cups. No time to soft boil them. Anyway, they'd just be a bit runnier than normal, right? 